Hey guys, it's Thursday and I'm coming to you from my mommy's house. Okay, so the reason that I came to my mom's house was for the question of the week. And I found a couple of things that I wrote. I'm not sure how old I was when I did these, but I think well, it was when I was in elementary school, maybe third grade or so, I don't know. But this is a short story, a very short story that I wrote called The Day It Rained Unicorns and Violets. Yes, apparently I was a big unicorn aficionado back then. So, One day I looked out my window and instead of rain, it was raining unicorns and violets. It was 2 p.m. and everybody was at the paramedic's office at 2.09. I saw a unicorn, said a woman. It came from the sky, said another. Martian unicorn, said a man. I didn't understand, but I knew I wasn't alone. Nobody ever found out about how the unicorn started, not even me. Yes, that was beautiful, wasn't it? And I even, I even illustrated it. You can see. Very nice pictures of the unicorns. And apparently they're friendly. See, I mean, this one's saying hello. And then there's everybody at the paramedics. And you can see up here, my teacher loved it. Right there. Very good. Either that or my teacher was as weird as I was back then. Um, let's see, I had another one. It was just a poem that I wrote. I like the springtime because of the flowers. They seem to be dancing as though they had powers. Well, at least it rhymes. And I drew nice pictures for that one, too. And my very cool son... Yeah. And there's me holding a cat. All right. So after those brilliant works of art, I guess I really wanted to be a writer even back then, although I'd like to hope that I've gotten better at it. Um, but let's see what's going, what else is going on with me. Uh, work is still busy, but I think it's getting better. Um, or at least I'm not stressed out about it anymore. I'm not letting myself get stressed out now. The auditor that's helping us, she's completely frazzled, and I feel kind of bad for her because she keeps saying that all of her other work is piling up and she's having to put everything aside so that she can work on our account and apparently she's really, really overwhelmed. And I feel bad for her, but there's nothing I can do except what I'm doing, so I can't really worry about that. But I think there's an end in sight, which is helpful <laughs> instead of just doing nothing but plodding and plodding away and you feel like nothing is getting done. At least something is getting done and I feel like we're making some progress. So that's good. I feel better about it anyway. Um, books that I'm reading. I just finished The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. Now I'm sure all of you have seen the movie, the classic Judy Garland film. And I've always loved that movie and I didn't even realize that I had it on tape because it always seemed like something that came on during the holidays. For some reason, back where I grew up, it always came on around Easter, and I never understood what The Wizard of Oz had to do with Easter, but I always looked forward to seeing it at a certain time of the year, and so it always kind of freaked me out that I actually have it on tape and can watch it whenever I want to. But it's really neat to read the book, and I, I highly recommend it because it's very different from the movie. There's a, lo a lot more characters, and... Like, like one of the main uh, differences is, like, Glinda, who you see at the very beginning when she first gets to Oz, you see her, and she's the Good Witch of the North. Well, no, she wasn't. She was actually the Good Witch of the South, and you don't see her until the very, very end when she helps Dorothy go back home. And I thought that was really weird. At first, I thought, well, they didn't give Glinda a name. Did the movie people make that up? But no, Glinda came at the very end instead of at the beginning. And also the Wicked Witch of the West, she wasn't there hardly at all except for when they went to her castle and killed her. That was it, which that was disappointing. But all in all, I really, really liked it. And apparently there are more. There's a series that uh, L. Frank Baum wrote. So I'm going to have to look into that and find them. But it was really, really good. Okay, guys, i got to take off because... I'm actually doing this on my lunch break, and they're probably going to want me to come back to work at some time today. So, I'll see you guys next week, and Alex will see you tomorrow. Bye!